Okay, this is a 40 gallon DSA frag tank build I'm setting up. And here is the sump. I went f with a different design. So there's the return. Comes down into here, gets filtered through that. I'll put a foam block inside there, goes up, and there's the return. Instead of that being the refugium, because in my experience, uh, that's far too much flow. And so the return pump will be attached to there, and I'll update this video as well. And uh, I'll have a valve on that as well to control. Uh, basically, when I'm cleaning the pump, it'll make that a lot easier. Uh, so no water dumps back in. I find those uh, check valves don't work as well as they are advertised anyways. So uh, the return pump will be right there. It'll take the water up here, and then here's this T for my refugium, and I'll have that cracked open slightly. Um, and since I'm using a Mag 5, it's plenty of flow for this uh, tank altogether, let alone with uh, this teed off and get a little flow for the refugium. I'm going to do a 10 time turnover rate. Um, I don't like the 20 time turnover rate, and I don't like that. In the past, the way I've used it is to have the refugium here in the middle, so it would be the return skimmer uh, or the overflow skimmer into the refugium and then into the uh, return, which would have a constant flow all the way through. The refugium is just as fast as the display up there, and from what I've learned, I don't believe that the Cato um, enjoys uh, that type of rapid flow. And in my experience, as I've got on this little Nano, I made this hang on back fuge. Even some corals I put in this little tray slot. Love it. Um, I have to dump this Kato out every three or four days, and I take out 75% of the Kato. Uh, on the local forum, I have to keep my ad for free Kato up all the time because as soon as I take it down, two days later, it's already grown. Um, so this one is from a Nano. This is a four gallon fuge, and I've got a uh, uh, Rio 50 so this is 50 gallons an hour I've got that on full flow and so that's 50 gallons an hour not sure what the turnover rate on that is uh, just yet so but this one uh, I'll experiment I'll try taking off uh, or I'll try at 50% uh, and see because I'm not really sure how much head loss or how much water actually gets caught in this trap and falls through here. Uh, I might end up doing it on full throttle. Who knows how much water gets dumped into there. But that's a 10 gallon fuge. And so when that water gets dumped back into there, it just falls back over into the fuge. And you don't get that many bubbles. Uh, in fact, I don't get any in my uh, the last sump I did like this. So I won't have to worry about bubbles getting sucked back into the display. Um, inside there, I've got also a little bit of room for a GFO reactor and a carbon reactor I plan on installing. Um, this will just be a filter sock, and there's enough room here for the Marine Land 300 skimmer. Um, but basically, this is the best sump I've used, or best design for the sump I've used so far. Uh, I'm also working on a 125 here. Uh, that's this is we're on the back side of the wall. Uh, those are the halide fixtures, but that sump is done identically. It's just a four foot long sump, and it's also 30 gallons. I couldn't find a bigger one that was with these dimensions that would fit underneath there. But that's the same way. It's just taped up because I've got to cut some holes here so that these pipes will not be in the or so the wood won't be in the way of the pipes. And uh, in this corner. I'm probably going to add a huge fuge, uh, possibly fit like 30, 40 gallons in this one. Uh, and that's about it. I'll update the video when the plumbing is done.